hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video like you saw from the thumbnail and the title i'll be creating a full face of makeup using only blue heaven makeup products so if you want to know what all makeup products i liked and disliked in this makeup tutorial then you'll have to continue watching this video so without wasting any more time let's get started So before even applying any makeup on my skin, I've already cleansed my skin using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser which is my absolute favorite. It's very gentle and mild on the skin and even if you have sensitive skin types, this is gonna be amazing. It gets rid of all the dirt and impurities so beautifully without ripping away the moisture from the skin and maintains the pH level. Now to moisturize my skin, I'm using the Nutridum Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion, taking a generous amount of the moisturizer and applying that all over the face and neck and massaging the product really well until the moisturizer gets absorbed and seeped into the skin it acts as a very very beautiful pre makeup base so i love to apply this whenever i do my makeup and even without makeup as well Also, if you have a drier skin type, you can choose the Derma Vibe Moisturizing Lotion, which also is a great option if you have drier skin type. Now, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, for which I'm taking the True Brow um, Eyebrow Definer from Blue Heaven. So, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows using this eyebrow pencil. It was very, very waxy and a little bit stiff. Uh, but in the end, it was okay. And also, it doesn't come with a spoolie, which was a little bit of a bummer. Now moving on to the eye makeup, I'm going to take this um, Kajal crayon, this is called their Get Bold Kajal, basically in a black shade. So I'm just going to create a base for my eye makeup today. So I'm just scribbling the Kajal all over the eyelids up until the crease of my eyes. It was a decent um, Kajal crayon kind of a product. It's very jet black and really creamy. So it was very easy for me to blend out the edges on the crease. So I'm just using my ring finger to blend out the product here. Next, I took this Bling Matte Plus Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. This is how the palette looks like. It has a mix of uh, browns and a little bit of reddish tones and pink tones and a little bit of grey and black as well. So I took that pinkish um, browny kind of a colour on a blending brush and applied that on the crease as a transition. So as you can see, I had to go through a lot of layers to build up the eyeshadow to this kind of an intensity it's very very less pigmented then i took this um reddish toned matte eyeshadow on a different tapered brush and just put that on the outer v of my eyes uh, again this is looking a little better because i have the kajal as a base underneath the eyeshadow otherwise if you were to apply this on its own you will have to layer it up quite a bit then i took this really pale pink champagne kind of a shimmer eyeshadow and just place that on the empty space of the eyelid and this was not at all uh, shimmery or foiled or anything like that it's very very subtle and kind of like a satiny finish so i wasn't really impressed with that either then moving on to the face i'm taking one of my favorite products from blue heaven which is their uh, primer this is like a clear silicone based primer which really helps in filling up your pores and creates a really nice smooth even flawless canvas and on top of this your foundation applies and looks really really beautiful and flawless and also makes your makeup last longer as well then i took this high coverage liquid foundation from blue heaven comes in this tube uh, packaging with a pump on it so i took this shade which is a really deep and dark shade i think it's called dark beige um, it looks a lot more warm but after blending it out it looks pretty fine on my skin has about light to medium coverage but you cannot go beyond that so i'm just applying one layer and then i built up the coverage um, to at least a medium coverage the finish of this foundation is completely matte then i took this uh, 12 hour stay liquid concealer i hate this concealer I used that to highlight and conceal a little bit of my features like I usually do but as soon as I started blending the concealer, the concealer kind of balled up and removed the foundation underneath and doesn't even have a lot of coverage. It's very 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 light and sheer kind of a coverage and I hated it. 
So I went in with a different concealer on top of this to add more coverage and to sort of fix the base situation. Then I took this loose powder from Blue Heaven in the shade Dark Tan apparently but it looks fairly light to me. Um, this was a nice product, it was not too bad. Uh, so I just used that to bake my under eyes and my T-zone. And again, this adds a mattifying finish to your skin. Then I took the Oil Control Compact Powder in a darker shade as well. All the shade names will be listed in the description box. Uh, so I just used that to set the rest of the face wherever I did not put the loose powder. And before that, I just dusted away the excessive loose powder away from my skin. And the compact powder shade was pretty good. It has a lot of warmth and looks nice on my dusky skin tone, which is a necessity for me. And then for coverage, it has very light coverage. Again, doesn't have too much of a coverage. For blusher, I'm taking the Shimmer Matte Blusher, which is a very contradictory kind of a name. I think the shade is 501, which is a very deep reddish orangey kind of a color and it's very well pigmented as well. So a little bit goes a long, long way. So I just took a little bit of that blusher and just put that on the apples of the cheeks. And then I softly and gently built up the layer of the blush to the intensity that I like on my skin tone. But saying that it doesn't last that well on your skin, it just fades away after two hours or so. Moving back to the eyes, I'm taking the 24 hour stay Kajal in a black shade and just gonna create a nice smoky liner on my upper lash line. So I'm just drawing an eyeliner on my top lash line and then I'm gonna smudge it out using my tiny little pencil brush. This is a really good Kajal pencil. I would say it's jet black, very well pigmented, creamy and lasts for a decent amount of time as well. I'm applying the same Kajal pencil on the lower waterline and my lower lash line as well and also to tight line my eyes. Once that is done, I'm going to pick up this dark, pinky, burgundy kind of a matte eyeshadow to blend out the edges um, on the lower lash line where I put the kajal just to make things more softer and elegant looking. For mascara, I use this volumizing mascara from Blue Heaven. Honestly, it doesn't do much to your lashes. It just adds a black coat to your eyelashes and nothing more or nothing less than that. It doesn't add any volume or length or whatsoever. It just makes your eyelashes look black basically. For highlighting my skin, I took this really pale champagne gold color from the eyeshadow palette itself and just put that on the tops of my cheekbones and the rest of the face where I usually like to highlight such as the brow bone, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and my chin. Moving on to the lips, I took this beautiful liquid lipstick from Blue Heaven which is their Hyper Stay Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade 12. I think it's a really really deep, dark, cool tone, chocolatey brown color and the formula is very beautiful as, as well. It's very well pigmented but it's very thin and liquidy. So I'm just using that to sort of outline my entire lips. I love this liquid lipstick. I have a ton of these uh, liquid lipsticks in different shades. Then I took this Hyper Matte uh, Bullet Lipstick in the shade Molten Latte which is again becoming one of my favorite lipsticks because it's so beautiful and um, applies nicely on the lips and turns to a completely matte finish and this shade Molten Latte is such a gorgeous color for dusky skin tones and sets to a completely matte and transfer proof finish after a while. I'm really enjoying this lipstick at the moment. Then I felt like this brown lipstick shade is kind of looking a little bit gothy and I want a little bit of color so I took this matte lipstick in the shade um, Ruby Glow which is like a red shade and just put a little bit of that just to bring some color to my face and not so dull and dead looking. So yeah, that's the finished lip color and I was quite happy with that. Then to set and fix my entire makeup in place, I'm taking one of my favorite products from Blue Heaven as well, which is their long lasting setting spray and just sprayed that to my entire face. Um, this is a great, great tube to the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. It just has that exact same dewy finish and makes my makeup just melt into one another and mesh into one another and basically makes the entire skin look so delicious and yummy and makes my makeup last longer. So here is the final finished makeup look using only Blue Heaven Cosmetics. 
the look turned out pretty good but there were definitely a lot of products that did not work out in my favor and a few of the products worked amazingly well as well especially i was really happy with the way that they have a shade range for dusky skin tones even though they are a very affordable brand kudos to blue heaven for that so yeah this is the finished look using all blue heaven cosmetics all the products that i used in today's video will be linked in the description box as usual if you enjoyed watching this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and also make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye